You just mentioned Cuba. We mentioned 24 countries. What kind of ideas in terms of care provision or reshaping organizations have you perhaps found uh, useful, uh, inspiring, and see as a good approach towards care provision, addressing retention, burnout, or care models? Um, yeah, I, I, I will mention Cuba again in, in, in this way, because uh, from seeing a country that from a resource point of view, financial resource point of view, has very little at the moment, it's uh, definitely since COVID as well, and, and already for years, it's been not going so well there. Uh, but Cuba has 25% uh, of the people have a bachelor degree or higher in healthcare. So you have a, a really good environment where people immediately understand what certain topics, for example, what prevention means in your own environment. And people talk openly about these things, where in, in, the, in the Netherlands you often see that a general practitioner doesn't want to live in his neighborhood where he's working or in the village, but goes and live in, in the next village or next neighborhood because he or she is scared that uh, he will run into clients in the supermarket and they may ask him a question. And in Cuba, it's the opposite. It's, it's a sort of communal health. Health is a communal problem and to, to contribute towards better outcomes, everybody is involved. So the entire networks around someone that needs help are amazing to see. I think it would be a very good example for the entire world to look a bit more at what does this mean, not only from a financial point of view, but also from a social point of view. And yeah, quite honestly, I'm quite uh, jealous that with little financial means, they are doing so much better than we are still doing in the Netherlands with this.